Galaxy A52 5G. Alexa, volume up to. Alexa, Alexa, volume down one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 163 pounds, the International Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, Don. His opponent from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 182 pounds, Sinister Green. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna start things off. Hollow double tie up, Eric, Irish whip. Oh. 
Oh, 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 he's choking him from the top rope. Or oh, from the middle rope. <laughs> Look like that hurt. Stomp right to the arm. Oh. Verde with a reversal. And now stomping out Eric. Now I try to go for a top rope maneuver. Ooh, dive before Eric could get to him. Now going straight for the leg. Ooh, punching the life out of his knee. And now he's gonna do it again. Ooh. Eric with a counter. Oh, Eric took that attack. Oh no. Ooh. Power bomb. Ooh, dude. And now I'm starting to send some punches to Eric. Stomp straight to the gut. Stomp straight on the arm. Eric with a counter. Ooh. Got to go for another kick. Yeah, they able to counter it. And now going for more punches. Oh, he... He didn't cut him open. He's cut it open. He cut him open. And now Vieira they trying to go top rope. Ooh. Dodged by Eric. At such a perfect timing, too. Now try to go for Vieira across body. Kick straight to the spine. And another one. Oh, he's got him up. Ooh, Michinoku driver. He's dragging him. Oh, and he stops on the arm. Looks like Eric's trying to go for something. But Vierde over the counter. Oh, oh. And Vierde with the Clover Leaf submission. He's trying to make Eric tap out. But Eric fights back. And a basement drop kick. Oh, and a power bomb. Now Eric's starting to drag Vierde yet again. Wait. Oh, he has a setup. He has a setup. The STF. The STF. Can he make Vierde tap out? But Vierde able to break out of it. Ooh. And a takedown. And he's got him with the oh double knees to the back. One, two, and a kick out at two by Eric. And Vierde doesn't know what to go for. I guess he was waiting on Eric to get back up. Oh, boy, he might have him with it. Oh, but Eric able to counter it. And now Eric added him. Hey, hey, the attitude adjustment. One. Through all. Oh, two by Viere. And now he's got him in the crossfade. But Vierde able to get out of it with ease. Oh, and the torture right. Oh, my God. Beautiful drop. Ooh, knee to the face. Now I'm going back for the leg. 
Oof. Oh, and he's got it set up once more. The clover leaf. But Eric able to fight back out of it in another basement drop kick. And oh, Vierde with a counter. You know he's going top rope. Trying to hit him with an elbow drop and it was countered. Oh. And Eric counters. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh. He's got him up in the air. Now he's hitting a couple squats with it. Oh, drops him on his back. But double knees to the... And Vierde picks up a victory against the Cruiserweight champion. That was an amazing matchup. Both men. And the show of respect from one to another. Eric shaking the hand of Vierde. Congratulations to this young man. Long way for him in ICW. Can he become next Cruiserweight champion? We won't know for sure, but the future awaits. So we move on to our next matchup. We have a new debut of this tag team, but one of their members are gonna be debuting here tonight as Rosa, another one fourth, a quarter of the Sinister Army takes on new debut, new debuting star, Sour Patch, and in her corner, is the one and only Sugarfoot. <laughs> Characters made by your homie, Jote the Goat. <laughs> hey, yo. Lord, your boy, how are you, bro? Hope you're having a great, great Tuesday. Not sour patch of sugar. <laughs> hey, I was t hey, I asked him the same thing, man. But he he put in a lot of uh he put in a lot of work and effort into these, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and go ahead shout him out with it. You know, the, these are some amazing character designs, and there's still more on the way too. Like there's still a lot more on the way his character designs are so amazing y'all shout out to Joe the goat amazing 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 dude bro i'm good bro i had to take a break from elder Ring. it's my blood pressure <laughs> oh my god i always know like bro i was not gonna play that game that game was gonna put me in a hospital one way or another and i'm like that mug is going to stress me out so bad. Like, I'm already kind of just stressed right now with life. I'm not going to get stressed out even worse by playing Elden Ring. <laughs> That's going to put me put me out, man. I'm going to be in the hospital for days. All right, let's go ahead and get this match up underway. Starting off with the Pink Princess. The one that can control these heathens known as the Sinister Army. She walks with a devastating glare. Rules the land with an iron fist. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making her way to the ring from Gomez Palacio Durango Mexico the psycho one of the most talented women on this roster Anything can go a long way for Rosa. But her opponent debuting for the first time in ICW. I guess you can say this team combination is definitely sweet and sour. All right, we got Rosa. We got Sour Patch. Start things off. Oh, Sour Patch. That knee to the face. And she, ooh, knocks it out the bat with another one. Ooh, ooh, excellent combination from Sour Patch. But Rosa fighting back. Sour Patch with a reversal. She hits her with another knee. Throwing the fist of flurries. With another devastating knee to the face. Oh, but Rosa with the jawbreaker. Sends it straight into the corner. Oh, bounces her head straight off the turnbuckle. Tower patch reversing again. Oh, that. Hit to the face. And oh, stomping straight on the body. Oh, what a devastating clothesline. And oh my God. This is definitely one dangerous sour patch. Oh. And now hurting the leg of Rosa. No way. Oh. Oh, she's got her up. And oh. Definitely a serious distraction. Oh. Sour Patch using a little bit of that joint manipulation. Ah. Knee to the back. Oh, try to go for a move, but Rosa able to counter it. And Rosa with a face buster. Oh, and DDT by Rosa. Who would it pin? One. Two and a kick out at two by Sour Patch. Ooh. Ooh, kick to the face by Sour. Ooh, 
hurting the leg. Oh, Rose able to get her. And oh, now Hurricane Rana. Oh, super kick to the face. One, two, and a kick out at two. Sour Patch definitely trying to stay strong in this match. Now going to the middle rope is Rosa. Rosa with a middle rope dive. And is now punching the life out of Sour Patch. Oh, and a slap to the face. Such disrespect. But Sour Patch able to counter. And another kick to the face. Now she's calling for it. What's Sour Patch going to do? Oh. And a feast your eyes. One. Two. Three. Oh. Rosa, what a kick. At two. Oh, can she get it? Spanish fly by Rosa. I mean, no, by Sour Patch. I'm oh, sorry. Now she's gonna hit it again with a second face to your eyes. One, two, three, and Sour Patch picks up the victory. Congratulations to Sour Patch picking up a huge victory against Rosa here tonight. Definitely wasn't Worth the ass whooping, but it definitely was worth the entertainment. Congratulations to Sour Patch picking off a dub against Rosa. We now move on to the next matchup with another one of Joke the Goat's creations. We have Sunshine taking on Mrs. Star in a one-on-one -on -one bout. Star, who had literally the best start of season one came out of the gates ready she had multiple championship matches and she was reigning undefeated for quite a while after losing an icw women's title opportunity to lily now we see how season two fares our fair maiden tonight <laughs> Thank you. 
Definitely excited for both of these women here tonight to get their career started once more in ICW, especially for the new debuting Sunshine. We have Star, we got Sunshine. The match will commence, Sunshine try to go for a punch, Star blocks it. Oh, Star starts things off with a basement drop kick. Oof. And ooh. And a kick straight to the back. And now a pinfall. And a one count. Oof. Ooh. Neck breaker. Kicks all over to the side. And now Star going top rope. Going for the crossbody. Another kick to the back. Ooh, Sunshine able to counter. Can she turn things around? And a double underhook suplex. Oh, elbow drop. And she gets it a second time. And now Sunshine going top rope. Ooh, elbow drop. And oh, try to go for a suplex. Star able to counter it, however, and counter it with a German suplex. Ooh. And now going for the middle rope. And a, ooh, a drop kick straight from the middle rope. Ooh, and a drop kick. Excellent combo. Try to go for a move. With Sunshine able to counter it. One more time, double underhook suplex. And oh. Oh, oh, she got the cross face in. And she lets it go. Now going straight for the pinfall. One, two, and a kick out at two by Star. It's now hurting the legs. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Oh, oh, the disarmer. The disarmer. Oh, and now she's hurting the arm yet again. One, two, and a three count. Sunshine picks up the victory against Star. Here is your winner, Sunshine. <laughs> Congratulations to Sunshine picking up a victory just like that against Star. She definitely could come a long way here in their career. Excellent, excellent matchup. We move on to the next match. It is a triple threat tornado tag team match. We have on the left, we have Phantom and Shadow. In the middle, we got the Waffle with Q and Josh. And then in the in on the flat right, I'm sorry, on the right, we have the team of Jester Designs and the Barbarian. The winners of this match will go on to face the tag team champions, which is myself and Kit Kat, next, not next Sunday, this Sunday at Eternal Dalmatian. Yo, Damo, what is the word, bro? Hope you having a lit. Jay Sama with the llama. I'm dead. Hey, yo, <laughs> is you doing the same thing I did on uh, Nine Street? <laughs> What's up, Damo? How are you, bro? Hope you having a lit Tuesday. You know, I already know the vibes here. All right, let's get this match up underway. Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team Match. Winners face me and Kit Kat this Sunday for the tag team titles. Waffle Gang. Q and Josh both started off in singles competition. Hell yeah, man. How your day been, bro? My day has just, you know, I'm going to keep it positive, you know. A lot has happened today. I'm not even going to, like, get into discussion about it, but I'm trying to keep things light, lit up. I'm trying to keep things positive. We're just going to. We just gonna say today was a rough one. Today was definitely one of my rough ones, but I'm gonna fight that and just stick to my positivity. You know what I'm saying? But you already know we here and we lit with it. Ain't, ain't gonna be no changing. All right, all right, all right. And our next team, they represent the Sama Gang well. The third and first division captains. The first ever world tag team champions. 
not only are they the first ever World Tag Team Champions, they lost the title within the first week that they held it, losing it to Nectaro and Sage. But these two are trying to make a redemption. Where let me know, ah, uh, let me know if we got a drive by with the click on somebody. Nah, bro, we good, we good, it, we good, bro. It's alright. I'm, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good for right now. I appreciate it. <laughs> My boy said the blick. I mean the glick. I'm like, hold on, yo, what? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> and here we have our newest team, which is very, which is a very odd pair, but a very smart duo. Summoning from the Netherlands itself. And at a combined weight of six hundred fifteen pounds, Jester. The longest reigning champion and the biggest motherfucker that we have on our roster, the Barbarian, which is one of the most odd pairs, but the smartest pair I've ever seen. Jester may have found himself the ace in a hole. This big behemoth of a man could be his ideal way to help him in this division but as you can tell the longest reigning ICW World Heavyweight Champion does not need assistance. <laughs> the Barbarian is just set out to destroy. Jester happy with what he has created. Happy that what he has became this behemoth is going to destroy everyone in that ring. Let the match begin. And this match is already starting off with some chaos. And a, ooh. Shadow going at the queue. Phantom and Jester are fighting it out. And the Barbarian is just squashing Josh at this moment. Big right hands from the Barbarian. Oh, ooh. Oh, and Jester with a counter. Barbarian taking down Josh still. And Shadow. Oh. Just with an Alabama slam. Ooh. Josh able to count with the Barbarian, but for how long? Oh, and Jester. Ooh, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and he hit him with that ten. Oh, Q would have missed a red kick to the barbarian. And now Q getting jumped by Shadow and the Barbarian. Ooh. Jester's out there destroying Phantom right now. Ooh. Phantom able to counter though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is just a triple threat match everywhere right now. Oh, 
Ooh. Q able to counter. Back suplex. But he ain't done. Another one. Everyone else is damaged except Shadow and the Barbarian. Never mind, Shadow taking down the Barbarian. Ooh. Ooh. And an elbow drop. And the Barbarian was able to kick out. And oh, ooh. And an elbow drop. And Phantom and Shadow are able to pick up the victory with Q being way too late to break up the pin. But Phantom, the shadow just broke the barbarian somehow. Phantom and Shadow will take on me and Kit Kat for the tag. No way. I gotta whoop. I gotta whoop his ass. There's no way. All right, man. We move. On matchup it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup between the one with the, another quarter of a faction we got some kinks to work at yeah but other than that though it's gonna be a, it's, it, it probably might be a great season for you guys especially with barbarian being the like bigger man but there's gonna be some kinks to work out for show. Sure. But next match we got a quarter of another faction, the Waffle Gang's own Grant taking on Ian in a one-on-one -on -one bout. Both men have had losing records, but both men are trying to work out themselves for the next season. But overall, it's only your first match, you know, first match of the first season. So, I mean, second season. So, don't don't get too upset about it. As always, next couple matchups. All right. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From New York, weighing in at 156 pounds, Grant. Grant. Also known as Grant the Ant, the smallest man in ICW. The biggest heart of all. He is ready to prove himself and his dominance inside of this ring. But also another man who wants to prove himself among the rest as well. And the party animal. From New York, weighing in at 228 pounds. Yeah. The Southern Warrior is now the party warrior.
Ooh. Has Ian been revamped? Is he ready for the new season? Both men fight one-on-one -on -one for the first time. We'll see what happens. We have Grant. We have Ian. Let's let the match begin. Ooh, Ian blocks an attack. He starts things off with a power bomb. Ooh, double stomp. Trying to go for another one, but Grant able to dodge that one. Ooh. Ooh. And he hits him with a double stop of his own. Yo, what is up, coach? Oh, and a frog splash. One. And a kick out at one by Ian. Yo, coach, what is up, bro? I'm glad you're able to stop by. I hope you're having a great Tuesday always, my boy. How are you? How are you today? Oh, Ian lifting up Grant. He throws lurking, lurking a bit. I'm helping my girl set up her new bed, but I'm here for the audio. All right, all right, bet. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. All right, bro. Good luck. Don't swallow your finger like I did. <laughs> Good luck to you, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, single leg Boston Crab by Ian. Now Grant has Ian. Bounce him off the turnbuckle. And ooh. Ooh. Stomps right on the chest. Oh, Ian able to count though and get him. Oh, Grant. And then Grant hits him with oh! Tornado! DDT! Oh, the. Oh, and now he's got it locked in. Clover leaf. And now Ian able to counter out of it. Ooh. Ooh. Ian able to counter. And a German suplex. Ooh. Oh, I oh, hit him with the airplane spin. Airplane spin. And now he's got it locked in. Does he have it? Sharpshooter. And he just let it go. But now he's going for the pinfall. One, two, and a kick out at two by Grant. Oh, Ian able to lift him up with that power at hand. And drops him. Now he's going top rope. Hits him with a flying. Fog slash. Now he lifts him up again. And ooh. Gotta go for a stomp, but Grant able to counter it. Ooh. Grant hits him one more time with a tornado DDT off the apron. I mean off the springboard. Grant trying to use that submission move. Oh, now he's calling for him to stand. And oh, and it hurt Carolina from the top rope.
Now Grant just sitting up on the top. Wait, he hits him with a dive. And now he's going back up with, for the third time. He hits it one more time. He was trying to measure him out and wait. He's going to lock it in again. No, he has a... He has the... Yup. He... I guess he locked in some strong submission move. I forgot what that was. I think that was the Lion Tamer. Winner, Grant. Grant picks up a major victory with the Lion Tamer submission. May Ian tap out. We move on to the next matchup. It is an extreme rule. I forgot I was in this matchup. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, skedaddle for a minute, but I'll be right back. I have somebody else on the commentary. Give me one second. Ain't no thing but a thing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the one and only, the future, Demarcus Johnson. I hope everybody having a wonderful day today. As we getting ready for this Extreme Rules tag team matchup, it'll be Kit Kat and Sama, the ICW tag team champions, taking on the Sinister Armies, Negro and Rojo. This team tried to get their hands on them at Final Destination, ended up losing the Hell in a Cell tag team match, which made Kick and Sama still remaining the tag team champions. But now they get the opportunity back again. Will they get a pinfall against the champions? Or will it be just the same as it was in season one? We find out right now. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the team to uphold their responsibilities. Tag Team Champion Vibes. Kit Kat and Sama definitely came a long way from one man to another holding these tag team titles redefined their careers
right. Sinister Army. Kit Kat and Sama. Let's get this match started. Ooh, already starting off the gates. Tough. It's the army of destroying the tag team champs right now. Ooh. And now getting jumped inside of that ring. Ooh. on the back. Ooh. Someone was able to break up the pen for what? He's still getting his ass hit. Power bomb. And now Negro is setting up. Ooh. One, two, three. And the Sinister Army just destroyed the life out of the tag team champions. They just completely bitch made the champions. Holy shit. I'm scared of what's to come for them this season. Especially with all these other contenders as well. We move on to the next matchup. Ace takes on Henry in a one-on-one -on -one bout. I'm going to go ahead and stay on commentary for this matchup. Because I think Sama might need to go see a doctor right now. Let's let the match begin. There he is.
Kenya, weighing in at 158 pounds, the legend, Ace. Ace, a former ICW champion, who has somehow managed to lose his title to the Demon Bray, has had multiple chances of trying to get the title back, but all failed miserably. But now he has a chance to redeem himself. If he can win this matchup, things might change around for him when he goes on to take Demon Ray once more at Eternal Damnation. The biggest man on this roster besides Chai, Henry, poses a dominating threat. And all he wants to do is win championships. But to order to do that, he'll definitely have to play my games at this moment. Oh, uh, Henry, Henry disrespectful to the crowd. But you gotta love to hate him. We have Ace, we got Henry. Let's let the match commence. Ooh, ooh. Henry starting off with some great combinations. Ooh, able to flip him inside out. Ooh, the most great combos. Oh, he's got him in a submission maneuver. Ace able to counter. Oh, tried to hit him with a move, but Henry got out the way. Ace able to counter it. Oh, he pushed off Ace. Henry pushes off Ace like he was nothing. But, ooh, bounced his head off the turnbuckle. And now hurting the arm of Henry. Oh, and that chop. And the pit pinfall one count by Henry. And a frog splash. Going off of the springboard off the ropes. And he hits it again for the second time. Doing all that he can. And the bigger man. But now Henry able to use his strength. Throw an ace. And oh, suplex. And ace with a chop. Springboard again with a 450. And oh, he's calling for it. Can he hit it? The phenomenal forearm by Ace. Ace brings back that Ace in the hole. No pun intended. And a three count brings down the bigger man, Ace, with a victory over Henry. Such an amazing victory for this man, Ace. Wonders coming for him. And can he win his next match this Sunday when he takes on the Demon Ray in the, in the rematch of a lifetime for the championship? It's speaking of which, the Demon Ray has a match tonight. He goes one-on-one -on -one with our newest member of Tuesday Night Turmoil, your one and only big money coach Hedico, one on one, he takes on the champion. But I will be right back. Jay Summer is returning. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Jay Summer is returning. Is returning for the momentary. 
Be right back. Apologies, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Was dealing with some issues. There he is, the demon, the ICW champion, the man who had his life changed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 170 pounds, the international wrestling champion, Demon. Ray. Holding on to his precious ICW championship, Ray has gone through a lot of matchups, has survived the elimination chamber. has been in a lot of rival matchups against Ace for the championship. A new season and the same old demon controls the land well let's see what his new opponent 
has to say. Moving from Friday to Tuesday. The one and only Twitch champion. No one has ever beaten him for the title. Weighing in at 331 pounds. Big money. Coach. This is one dangerous SOB. 331 pounds of straight up ass whooping. Big money coach is ready to step up. Ray tries to off with some swings. Coach able to catch his foot. Oh, what happened there? Oh! Sling blade by Ray. And then a basement drop kick. Ray shows that he could definitely hang with the big guys, but Coach able to take him down with just one swing. Step right on the arm. And now he's got him in the crossfade. But Ray able to get out of it. Another sling blade. Another drop kick. Oh, counter. Try to drop the elbow on, a, on Coach. Coach with a big suplex. And now throwing them right hands. Drops the elbow on Ray. But wait a minute. Coach going top rope. This this can't be good. Oh my god. 331 pounds flying into the air. Oh. Ooh. And oh my goodness. Just tackles Ray out of the way. Oh, ooh, another elbow drop. And now he's going back up to the top rope again. Oh, try to land the knee. But he ends up missing it. But he drops the elbow. Got him. He's got him in a heel hook. But kicks him off of him. An actual swing blade this time. And he was able to lift him up into the 1916. And coach able to kick out. Oh, oh, Ray might be going for it. The Kodak Graw! The Kodak Graw! One, two, three, and Ray just picked up a massive, massive victory over Coach. Definitely a good way to take down the bigger man. Congratulations to Ray. Proving 
that even how small you are can take down the biggest guy in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our main event match. It is a fatal four-way tornado tag team match to determine a new ICW Women's Tag Team Champions. We have the teams from left to right. We have Lily and Bree Bree. We have T-Raw and Darth Cater. We have Nan and Pirate Hempress. And we have the team on the right, the deadliest team made. We have Moon Mizuki and Nikki Nanami. These four teams will settle all in the ring and try to figure out which one will walk out champions. All right, let's do this. Let's find out who will become ICW Women's Tag Team Champions. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first...
their opponents first. Non, the ICW Diva Champion and Pirate, a former champion, but able to work aside issues just to team up with their partner here tonight to try to become ICW Women's Tag Team Champions. Next team, both members of the Sama Gang. Definitely putting differences aside to make sure that they come out with the championships at hand as well. Team best girls, not in pirate. All right, I see you got your predictions. This is the last team. Both women are, win are former women's and divas champions. Everyone in this matchup, except Darth Cater and T Raw, have been former women's champions. Oh, except Bree Bree, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Everybody else except those three have been former champions inside of this matchup. So there is a lot of advantages in here. But this is a fatal four-way. Anything can go. Let the fatal four-way chaos begin. Ooh. Just straight up madness inside of this ring. Craziness. I can't even keep up with what's going on inside the ring right now. Oh.
Yo, what is up, V? What's up, Kara? How are you? Hope you're having a great Tuesday. Thank you for stopping by. That's great. That's great, boy. That's great. Make guys on the turn. Ooh. Ooh, that has to hurt the shoulders. I go for a pin, but it's a rope break. Hits him with the boom drop and a tornado DDT up springboard. And Lili able to come in to save her partner. Oh, trying to hit her with a trouble in paradise, but Lili was able to dodge that. Trying to hit her with a move of her own. Oh. Ooh, a misdirect kick. Oh, T with a back suplex. And oh, try to head over the move, but ooh, we be able to counter it. He was able to break up the pin. There's a lot going on right now. Oh. The all-natural selection by Nikki. Lily able to break up the pen. Ooh. And she got her in the rings of Saturn. T able to break up the pen. Nine going up top. Oh. And the all natural selection by Nikki once more. Now nine trying to go for the pin. And it's a rope break. Ooh. And now she's got he's got Nikki in the rings of Saturn.
There's been a lot going on in this matchup. Ooh. Wait. K and T Raw pick up the victory. Oh my god. I didn't even notice what just happened over there. Here are your winners. Ladies and gentlemen, we have new tag team champions. The first ever and inaugural women's tag team champions. Yo, that's that was crazy. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> That's crazy. That was a crazy ending, you guys. And well, that was uh, a. Well, thank you, Alexa. That was that was kind of a bit too late. All right. Well, guys, that was that was pretty much the entire thing. That was actually crazy. All these matchups were exciting and wow. Just whew, that was a lot. That was a lot, you guys. <laughs> Even I feel a little bit tired from that. But, yo, again, thank you all who joined. Shout-outs to Jester. Shout-out to Coach. Shout-out to uh, Carol. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Uh, I'm probably not going to end this off here. I'm probably going to end this off on Ray. I'm going to go Ray real quick. Let's go Raid. I think Star is still streaming Valorant, I believe. Yeah. Our stream of Valorant. If you guys want to go check her out, uh, you guys don't have to really just stay for the entire thing. You know, just come in there, just show love like y'all show me. And uh, yeah, until then, y'all, summer gang. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, deuces, y'all.